What is up, guys? Welcome to the Wadcast. I am your host, Radoslav. So today we're going to be going back to the Dubins. Now, I did a video about Eva Dubin and Jeffrey Epstein and their association, which goes back to the 1980s because they were a couple back then. And uh, we, we talked about how they were being subpoenaed in the Virgin Islands, which is a, which I think is a very welcome development because I think Eva Dubin knows a lot about Jeffrey Epstein and the business that went on. And Eva Dubin and Ghislaine Maxwell knew each other. So the video I made was right here. Glenn Dubin and Eva Dubin served with subpoenas due to their close um, relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Now that's happening in the Virgin Islands. The state attorney for the Virgin Islands, Daniela George, is going after Eva Dubin and Glenn Dubin there. They're, they're going to be subpoenaed, then they're going to have to testify regarding their connections with Jeffrey Epstein. I'm going to link this video in the top right hand corner if you guys missed it so you can check it out. But today we're going to be talking about something even creepier than that because Jeffrey Epstein wanted to marry Eva Dubin's daughter, Selena Dubin. So let's take a look at the power, power triple here. So this is that's Eva, uh, that's Eva Dubin on the on you guys' left side, and uh, Selena Dubin is on the right. In the middle is the Dubin himself, Glenn Dubin, um, who had business relations with Jeffrey Epstein. And um, so we're going to talk, be talking about how Jeffrey Epstein wanted to marry. Um, Selena Dubin, and it seems like um, her mom was totally okay with that. There's some creepy stuff going on here. To be honest, the more I look into Eva Dubin, the more she looks even more interesting than Ghislaine Maxwell. Obviously, Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein committed crimes together in the 1990s. That's why she's being uh, facing charges in the Southern District of New York. But nevertheless, I would like the FBI or you know, somebody, somebody in somebody who has jurisdiction over Eva Dubin to have a very pointed conversation about her connections with Jeffrey Epstein and possibly even with Ghislaine Maxwell, because this woman looks guilty every second. Now, remember that these are the people who stood up to defend Jeffrey Epstein, even after he was convicted of soliciting a minor back in 2008. And there was a um, the business insider, I believe, reported, which I covered in my last video, that Eva Dubin and um, Glenn Dubin were perfectly fine with him coming to their social ga gatherings, which were very exclusive and which we're going to cover in this article as well. So this is an article from 2019, but I want to cover this for you guys because I want to add some uh, some of my own hypotheses as to what could have been going on here. So this broke back in December 18th of 2019 in the New York Post, but um, I want to add some of my own commentary as we go along here. So let's go through this article and talk about this. Jeffrey Epstein wanted to marry ex-girlfriend's teenage daughter who called him Uncle Jeff. Okay, so let's get started. Jeffrey Epstein once wanted to marry an ex-girlfriend's teenage daughter who called him Uncle Jeff, according to a report. Now, remember that this ex-girlfriend is the ex-girlfriend. They were together for 11 years, I believe, from the early 1980s to the 1990s. So this is not just a girlfriend. This is um, the ex-girlfriend. And there's no way that Eva Dubin didn't know about Jeffrey Epstein's um let's say unique proclivities, criminal proclivities, okay? The late late pedophile openly declared in his plans to wed Selena Dubin, the daughter of former Miss Sweden, Eva Anderson Dubin, who had dated Jeffrey Epstein for 11 years until the early 1990s, sources told the Business Insider. And by the way, Business Insider has been doing some good work when it comes to Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, and especially Eva Dubin and Glenn Dubin. So you guys should check it, check them out, check the articles out there which I referenced in uh, my earlier video as well. The pair had developed, quote, a special relationship, especially close relationship, when Selena was just 12 years old. Now, here's the creepy part. With Uncle Jeff at times having substituted for her dad, the Palm Beach Post previously reported, citing a profile made by Jeffrey Epstein's lawyer. So... Eva Dubin it was perfectly okay with Jeffrey Epstein's proclivities, obviously. They were together for more than a decade. And even after he was found guilty in 2008 in Florida, they still kept defending him, said that they were perfectly comfortable with having him over. They had him over to his their social gatherings. So there's I don't believe for a second that Eva Dubin was completely ignorant of Jeffrey Epstein's proclivities. I believe she was, okay? And she supported them. That's my hypothesis. Now here's a very this is an kind of kind of um out there it's speculation, but I find it very disturbing that when she, when Selena Dubin was 12 years old, Jeffrey Epstein was at um their house and substituted as as um, their father because this is the reason it's creepy because 
from the um, affidavits and legal complaints filed by Annie Farmer, she recounted how um, uh, Gillian Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein took her to the movies and they tried to like they tried to groom her into uh, into the abuse by by like displaying overtly sexual behavior in front of her in public, making trying to normalize that so that that she would feel comfortable doing the same thing with Jeffrey Epstein. Gillian Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein together tried to groom Annie Farmer. I made a separate video about that, which I'll again link in the top right hand corner. And um, so that's what it reminded me of, like um, somebody who was a living a willing partner. That's what I believe Eva Dubin was. Eva Dubin. And so this is very disturbing the hypothesis, but I, I have to say it because I think it's a possibility because Eva Dubin seems to be a giant psychopath who doesn't even care about her own daughter. But it's possible that that Eva Dubin and Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein did to Selena the same thing that Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein did to Annie Farmer at the movie theaters. So that's a possibility. I'm not saying it's a fact because I have no evidence to support that. But it is a hypothesis that came to my mind when I was reading this. So I want to outline that. I don't think it's outside the uh, realm of possibility at all. I think Eva Dubin's a giant creep and a psychopath. And I don't think she's above um, uh, uh, abusing her own daughter or turning over her don own daughter to Jeffrey Epstein. I don't think that's out of the uh, realm of possibilities here. So that's why I'm saying it. Epstein was telling associates in 2014 that if he ever married, it would be to Selena, who was 19 at the time, sources told the Business Insider. There is no evidence that Epstein ever had a romantic relationship with Dubin. That doesn't mean it didn't happen, especially when she was a kid who is now 24, the site uh, the site reported, saying his motivation to marry may have been driven by a desire to avoid inheritance tax. It's possible. That doesn't negate the fact that he actually was attracted to her back when she was a child and could have had some relations with, with her with the approval of Eva Dubin. However, her father, money man Glenn Dubin, has long been tied to Jeffrey Epstein, to the Jeffrey Epstein scandal with longtime accuser Regina Roberts naming him in court documents, that's the defamation stuff from 2015, which I have covered on my channel, as one of the many men she alleges she was forced to have sex with. And that's because um, Ghislaine Maxwell sent, the first person that Ghislaine Maxwell sent uh, Regina Roberts to have relations with was uh, Glenn Dubin, according to her um according to her legal complaint and her testimony in the 2015 defamation case, okay? He has previously categorically denied the allegation through a spokesman, of course he did, who said he has evidence disproving them. That's great. You know, when uh, Daniela George asks you to present that evidence, uh, hopefully they do. And I want to see that evidence disproving um, uh, Virginia Roberts' claims. Okay? The Dubins, prominent socialites in Epstein's main hangouts of New York, and Florida also defended him when he was released from a Florida jail in 2009 on his earlier child sex conviction business insider previously uh, revealed. Now, this is what I talked about in the beginning. The couple wrote an email to his probation officer. They wrote, quote, they were 100 percent comfortable with Epstein spending time with Selena, who was then 14 years old, and their two other minor children, business insider said. Quote, I could not ask for a better friend or godfather to my children, Eva Dubin wrote of her ex, who, who also spent Thanksgiving at their Florida home the year after his release, the report said. So in 2008, he is, Jeffrey Epstein is found guilty. And then he spent some time. He gets this ridiculous deal from Alex Acosta, which is incredibly lenient. He's flying around all over the place. He's going to anywhere he wanted, basically. And then he just spends a couple hours at night in jail. That's what he does. That's what he did. And he got off got off of that the 13 month sentence or whatever in 2019. And and right after he got out of that, he was found guilty of soliciting a minor for prostitution. And then he got out early. And after he got out, Eva Dubin went on to defend him, saying that he was she was totally comfortable, 100 percent comfortable having Jeffrey Epstein around, being the godfather of her children, whom were all underage. But nevertheless, she was totally cool with that. Does this sound like somebody who is totally not OK with um, Jeffrey Epstein's crimes? Not to me. Eva Dubin had been 20 when she met Epstein back in 1981 and their 11 years together made her his longest time girlfriend. As I said, the ex-girlfriend. They split before the former beauty queen married hedge funder Glenn Dubin in 1994, and they had three children together. It's very fascinating. I would like to know the reason why they broke up, because 
Jeffrey Epstein and Eva Dubin seems to be a match made in heaven. Both of them had serious mental problems. Um, as I've uh, outlined before, it's very likely that um, Jeffrey Epstein suffered from um, Kluver Busey's syndrome. He needed to get off like three, four times a day, sexually speaking. And he was attracted to younger females. That's also another uh, mental problem. So both of these people, and then Eva Dubin, clearly a psychopath who doesn't care about anybody, including her own children, and willing to, uh, willing to leave her children with this guy alone with this guy who has been found guilty of being uh, soliciting minors. So both of them had serious mental problems. Both of them were predators. It's amazing to me that they didn't get married and hunt together. Um, but nevertheless, you know, for whatever reason, I would love to know the reason why they broke up, but they did. So, and then she married Glenn Dubin. Um, I, I'm not sure about Glenn Dubin. I'm not sure what kind of person he is. He's He doesn't seem to be the same kind of creep that uh, Eva, Eva Dubin is, but, um, you know, who knows? I can't say for sure. Their daughter, Selena, is a medical student and has been named one of the 15 hottest uh, freshmen at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine by Harvard Crimson in 2014, three years before she gradu graduated from university. I think she's a doctor now or a nurse or something like that. Epstein had wanted the then teen to inherit his fortune, including his private island in the Caribbean, so that he could avoid inheritance taxes, an associate told the Business Insider. He even made her the beneficiary of a trust in 2014, removing her name the following year, the publication said, citing financial documents provided by a second source. That trust now has $50 million in it, the report says, noting it was unclear if Selena ever benefited before her name was removed. I seriously doubt it. If it's only there for one year, then that's very unlikely. The Dubins distanced themselves from the now notorious pedophile in a statement to the insider, quote, Glenn saw him perhaps once a year, oh sure, at large group settings and had no business interactions with him whatsoever after 2007. Dubin family spokeswoman Davidson Golden told the publication. Eva and Selena Dubin accepted less than a handful of invitations to gatherings that included the founder of Microsoft and a DNA pioneer. I don't know what they're talking about. The Dubins are horrified by Jeffrey Epstein's despicable conduct. Oh, sure. Had they been aware of it, they would have cut off ties instantly, the spokesman said. Like I said, there is 0% chance that Eva Dubin did not know what Jeffrey Epstein was up to. I don't believe for a second that she was just a, you know, innocent bystander here. I don't believe for a second that she was taken aback by all of the revelations that have come out about Jeffrey Epstein and Gillian Maxwell and, and the operation they had going on there. I believe that um, Eva Dubin might have even been an active participant, at least in the early years. I think it's very possible that their own daughter was a victim. This is this is speculation at this point. You know, I don't want to you know, I don't want to make any uh, definitive claims because I don't have any evidence. But I, I don't think it's out of the realm of extreme possibility that Eva Dubin used her own daughter as a way to suck up to Jeffrey Epstein because they were clearly in love. She definitely knew exactly what kind of person he was. They were together for 11 years. OK, according to court papers, the first sexual assault allegation comes from the from 1987. So Jeffrey Epstein was doing this stuff any chance he got, even before he was a billionaire. OK, even when he was just coming up back in the 1980s, he was still abusing women, as, uh, children, the any chance he got. So there's no way I'm believing that Eva Dubin knew nothing about Jeffrey Epstein's um, proclivities. She definitely knew she was totally OK with it. And there's a possibility that even her own daughter, Selena Dubin, was a uh, was a victim at the hands of her own mother, given over to Jeffrey Epstein. I don't think that's that's a crazy thing to say at this point. You, I want somebody at the Southern District of New York, um, Virgin Islands, somebody sit this woman down and ask her pointed questions. Uh, open up an investigation into her because Eva Dubin is even more interesting to me than Ghislaine Maxwell. OK, we basically know exactly what Ghislaine Maxwell did and she will be going to jail. But Eva Dubin seems to be somebody who knew Jeffrey Epstein from the beginning. She might have information that even Ghislaine Maxwell doesn't have.
Okay, and I don't buy into the um, some of the stuff that people like Ari Ben Manchi or whatever his name is has said about um, Jeffrey Epstein and Gillian Maxwell knowing each other much early. I don't believe any of that stuff. I don't believe that guy for a second. Um, if you guys do, that's great. We're going to have to agree to disagree. I don't believe Ari Ben Manchi on anything. Uh, I don't think he's a trustworthy source. Um, I think Jeffrey Epstein and Gillian Maxwell met back in the 1990s. Um, I don't think they met before in the 1980s, as he claims. I think um, Jeffrey Epstein knew... Uh, the father, Max Robert Maxwell, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he was involved with the daughter. So that's where I stand. Uh, perhaps I'll be proven wrong. If Ari Ben Manchi has evidence instead of his words, then I would be totally open to believing it because then it would be a fact. Right now, it's just ridiculous speculation by a un untrustworthy person. Uh, that's my opinion okay so there you go guys that's the uh, latest on eva dubin and jeffrey epstein's associations this is an older article but i wanted to cover this on my channel because i never talked about it before and i'm going back in time and looking up and trying to find you know connections between eva dubin jeffrey epstein and Ghislaine maxwell and this was something that I want to discuss on the channel. Like I said, most of what I said is speculation, but I don't think it's crazy speculation given how comfortable Eva Dubin was with Jeffrey Epstein. So that's all I got to say for this video. If you want to support my work, you can join channel memberships down below, or you can support me on Patreon by clicking on the link in the top right hand corner. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and consider some of the ideas I present in my videos. If you appreciate my evidence-based, non-partisan approach to reporting legal and political news, please consider supporting me on Patreon. My long-term goal on this channel is to get to a point where I can do news analysis full-time. Grassroots funding is the best way for independent news reporters to remain uncorrupted by corporate influences. Even if you can only afford $1 a month, those dollars add up in the aggregate, and it will be much appreciated by me. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.